Greetings from uh, WMO Secretariat uh, in, in Geneva and uh, happy World Meteorological Day. We are now celebrating 70th anniversary of uh, WMO. WMO convention was signed uh, exactly 70 years ago on 23rd of, uh, of, uh, of, of March uh, 1950. Actually, we are a much older organization. We were established as I, I, IMO already in 1873. This year we have decided to join forces with uh, between World Meteorological Day and uh, World Water Day. So it's a joint event between meteorology and, uh, and, and, and water. And, and this theme that uh, you have chosen, it's very, very, it's very actual uh, climate and, and water. Water is a key driver of several disasters, uh, named the flooding, drought, uh, landslides, uh, forest fires and coastal inundation. The impacts of climate change are also very much uh, felt uh, through changes in precipitation. We have uh, drought, we have flooding, and we have also seen changes in the precipitation patterns. Also a large part of the impacts of tropical storms are felt uh, through heavy rains. Uh, it has also been shown that those storm systems are moving more slowly due to climate change and that leads to more severe flooding problems, like what happened in Houston in 2017. One dimension of the water theme is uh, cryosphere. We have uh, frozen water and, uh, and at the moment all of the main mountain glaciers are melting and this melting has been speeding up. And, and this is uh, endangering the availability of uh, water for human beings, uh, agriculture and industry. Actually, uh, already 25% of the world's population, 2 billion people, are already living in countries with severe water scarcity. And this scarcity is, uh, is growing due to climate change as well as due to population growth. By 2050, the demand of water is expected to be 25 to 30% higher than today. WMO has already decided that one of the main themes of our 2021 Congress uh, next year is going to be water. We have all also began building of UN-wide uh, Water Climate uh, Consortium to enhance the global water observation and service systems. It is strongly supported by United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres and we have also several development partners and donor countries who are happy to support uh, this kind of uh, water climate uh, consortium. I would uh, like to congratulate for you the historical decisions you, you made uh, during our Congress uh, last June. And we are also welcoming our key partners to play an active role at the future Technical Commission meetings. I'm very convinced that uh, this holistic earth system approach and multi-hazard approach uh, are going to be great success stories. But this depends also on your engagement and commitment and, and, and together we will make it a success story. We are also in, uh, widening the engagement of uh, science community in our work. The scientific advisory panel consisting of world leading experts from all of the regions uh, is giving us guidance uh, on future development, uh, strategic guidance. The research board uh, is also an important body and it, uh, it, it is supporting us uh, uh, from science to services, uh, how, how to improve uh, our services. Private sector engagement is also a new, new thing and it's already taking place. It is important that we ensure that the, the uh, safety authority role of uh, national meteorological and hydrological services and uh, we, also, uh, we also ensure public sector financing for, for our observing infrastructures. The desire is to promote the win-win cooperation between public and private sector actors, uh, uh, both at the country level and also at the global, global level. Here at the WMO Secretariat, we have followed uh, your guidance to streamline our administrative work and to allocate more resources for uh, supporting you and also for more scientific and technical work that we are, we are dealing with. The Secretariat reform is already taking place and we expect uh, it to be finished uh, by the latter half of uh, this, this year. And, and by doing so, we expect to provide you better services in the future. With these words, uh, I would like to wish you all most successful and uh, happy World Meteorological uh, Day worldwide.
Congratulations for WMO 70 years.